In this video, we will work with Meshroom and Blender 3.6. We will use 89 images. These images were made in 2019 with the Mavic 2 Pro in spherical shooting mode. I will show you all the settings into Meshroom. And we will work with these 89 images. You can download them on my homepage. You can find the link in the comments. And into Blender, we will see how, how we can uh, correct this texture. We will use a texture paint into Blender to correct the, the roof. So that's uh, a new point in my videos to show you how we can add uh, correction on textures. Let's go to the settings in Meshroom 2023.2, the second version from June this year. So in the future extraction we will use DSP Shift and we use high quality, not ultra high quality for the describer density and also for the describer quality. You can uh, use this rule if you are below than 200 images from uh, for your 3D model. You have to increase here the describer density. Into the meshing we will change the observ observation angle to 40 uh, degree. Into spherical mode we get uh, a lot of surrounding but we will only be interested for this barn in this section here and we will not use the, the, the surrounding. For uh, texturing uh, we use the standard object mode but I changed the file type to JPEG as we will uh, upload the final 3D model on Sketchfab. I will not have too much size for the texture images. On my uh, laptop it takes about uh, 55 minutes to calculate this model in high density mode. And don't forget to change the settings for Meshroom that it uses the NVIDIA card. If you have a laptop, you have most two uh, cards inside, but you have to manually attribute the NVIDIA card to the program. I showed you that in the previous videos. You have to select the program Meshroom 2023 and link it to the NVIDIA card. I have two cards into my laptop and it's important that we use NVIDIA for Meshroom as uh, Meshroom works with the CUDA kernel 11 from NVIDIA. You will not have the right performance if you don't link it to the NVIDIA card. Meshroom will create under texturing these files and we load the object file into Blender. In Blender we can see that the 3D model is cut off here, so the observation angle for 40 degrees works perfect. We have not surroundings uh, on this model. And we have first to uh, put the model into the right position. You have two uh, methods here to do that. You can rotate it, you can move it. And we have to change the origin to the center of mass. If you have a look on the vertices, we can see it's a fine model. And we have also the results below the roof, which is very important. We will decimate that later with a modifier that we have not too much uh, vertices to reduce the, the model. We will do that uh, at the end. First we will correct now the roof. If we have a look on the textured file, uh, we can see the, here that we have something to do. And for this we go into the texture paint mode. It works uh, similar like into Photoshop. You can have a reference image and then tab it to the result. 
We will use the clone function. Works similar like into Photoshop. We have to press the control button to locate the origin. And then to paint into another region. I use a radius from 1550 pixel and a strength from 1.0. Roofs like this are difficult if you have only a few images, but we can fix that easily with texture paint. Now we have quite a good result, so we can leave the texture paint mode. If we go into details, we can see we have quite a good result. In my previous videos, you can see how we can add different objects like trees that gives more details uh, in our 3D model and then for exporting to Sketchfab we will reduce the vertices for the, the barn model and for this we add a modifier to this 3D model it's decimate so we will reduce to a ratio from 0 0.5 that will reduce the vertices to 50%. And then we will apply this rule. Takes a few seconds. You can always check the file size from the final result. Actually, I am at 278 megabytes. Now I will save the model. The old version will be saved as blend 1. And now I have 198 one megabytes so the image the images for the texture will not be reduced it's only the object file with the vertices but so you can work and reduce always check into edit mode the vertices quality you can see we have less than at the beginning but still enough now I will zip this reduced file to see how much size we have. We have to be below than 100 megabyte to be into the free mode. If we check the pricing for Sketchfab, it's 100 uh, megabyte per model. So it's not enough. And I have to reduce more. I will show you an uh, interesting uh, method to reduce uh, the vertices uh, without touching the, the house. So we have uh, a lot, if you see it here, on the terra. We don't need uh, so much um, triangulation here. So we will select the house. We will select only the house. Important, I forgot it, to be in transparent mode. Then I will invert this selection and reduce only here. 
Now we will not use a modifier. We are in edit mode. We go to mesh, clean up, decimate geometry. You can have here the same ratio, 0 0.5, and you can see we decimated here the number of triangles. We can do that again. And now we can see the house has still all the details and only the surrounding here. We have really decimated the vertices. And if we have a look into the object mode, we have still all the details from the barn and only the terra we have reduced the number of triangles. If we have a look on the zipped file, we are below that 100 megabyte, so we can upload it for free on Sketchfab. In this uh, tutorial we learned how to use Meshroom 2023 with the right settings and then how to correct the textures into Blender and also uh, to reduce uh, the number of triangles on a selected box so that we can keep all the details on the barn and for the Terra we have reduced the number of triangles. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.